Hi, I'm Jay Nicholas and we're here at the Caddis Fly Shop in Eugene today and I'm going to tie a couple flies. This is a steelhead tube with rabbit strip and marabou, but this is basically a portion that's going to hold the hook. You'll put a leader through the tube, bring the leader out the back end, tie a clinch knot to this ring eye hook, and then you'll pull it up into that tube. And then when you hook a fish, usually the, the fly will come loose and slide up your leader. So you have this small short shank hook and the fly doesn't get chewed up. And these short shank hooks tend to be better at holding fish than a great big long shank hook would be. And if you haven't tied on tubes before, it's, it's a lot of fun. It's, this is called a polar chenille. It's a copper UV color. Put my hackle pliers on it and spin it. And I'm going to put about four or five turns. And this, this polar chenille is going to add a flash to this fly. This is a rabbit strip, so I'm going to cut it to the right length. I want to cut off the tip that's going to be tied in, and I want to taper that also. And that taper gives you a little bit smaller surface, um, so it, it, it creates less bulk where you tie it in. If you didn't make that taper, you would have a, a thicker tie-in point. And I'm a fan of adding just a little drop of cement at various places along as you tie the fly. I want the, the hide on the strip to end about where the hook bend will be. Now this is a, sh a schlappen feather. It comes from the base of the saddle patch. Uh, and I, I pre-selected this one so it's got a fairly slender stem. Trim this part of the feather off. Wind from the tip first. So I secure it. And now I'm going to do what you call folding this feather. Which is basically I'm, ru I'm running a firm square surface backwards along the feather. Uh, it, it will wrap around the tube or the shank of the hook uh, in a more orderly fashion. Now I'm, I wet my fingers just a little bit and um, preen those hackles out of the way. I'm going to add a shrimp pink marabou feather. Some people will tie that tip in first and then trim it. I tend to uh, trim it and then tie it in. I'm putting my hackle pliers on. So I'm wrapping this. And, and by the way, so I, I'm tying this fly on a, uh, on a tube. You could tie this same fly on a traditional hook and it would also be effective. Uh, people ask, well, why tie on a tube? Well, because you can, you can tie a fly that is larger on a tube and still use a fairly small hook. So I'm finishing this off. I just trim the extra off. I tie a whip finish by hand. You could use a whip finish tool if you wanted to. So I'm going to add a tungsten cone. It's a gold finish. Now, to finish this fly, I'll cut it with my scissors. 
I'm going to melt the end, I hold my lighter sideways, and I just touch the blue part of the flame to that tube. And what I'm doing now with my bodkin is making sure that the tube stays open. So here is our finished fly. Nahi green hills are 